If Man United sign a left back this summer, it's looking likely to be Sergio Regulon from Real Madrid. But what exactly will he bring to United? What's his style, his strengths and his weaknesses? That's exactly what this video is going to show you. Now, this is going to be the first collaboration with United Arena. If you don't follow them on Twitter, you really should. There'll be a link to their account in the description. A very informative, stat-based, very knowledgeable account that will help you understand players, their strengths and their weaknesses, and a whole lot more. So make sure you follow them. And there's been a lot of research that's gone into this video. So make sure you drop a like on it as well, especially if you want to see more of it on United People's TV. But without further ado, let's talk about Sergio Regulon. His strengths, his weaknesses, his style, what he would bring to United, and an overall conclusion on whether or not he'd be a good signing for United this summer. Now this video will be split into four parts based on research by United Arena, looking at the archetype, what type of player Regulon is, his appraisal in terms of his strengths and his weaknesses, an analysis of how he would fit into this United team, and an assessment of whether United should sign him. So let's start with the first. What type of player is Regulon? So when you compare Regulon to left-backs like Tellez and Shaw, Regulon is somebody who prefers to be off the ball in his offence in terms of the overlaps and the underlaps and the runs that he makes and dummy runs. And a fullback, a left back who makes those constant overlaps, who makes those constant underlaps and those dummy runs, we desperately need that left back. So immediately there you can hear and see where he would improve United straight away. And United Arena goes on to say that this sort of style benefits teams that play with inside forwards because when the winger leaves the flank, the fullback fills in to maintain the width. And we all know that Rashford is crying out to have that on the left wing, because even when Shaw is fully fit, he's not really that sort of overlapping left back. So Rashford, it's very easy for the teams to double up on Rashford with two defenders and mark him out the game, because he doesn't have a fullback taking a defender away from him. Regulon would bring that. United Arena goes on to say that he is a hands-on defender and challenges for the ball high up the pitch, which we'll show you with some of the heat maps later on. Talks about his recovery ability with his pace. Now, stopping attacks early can be great. If done correctly, it allows United to counter, not counter-attack, but attack a team when they're out of shape. And they haven't sat in their defensive lines. So that can be a very big asset. Could also be a weakness, which we'll go into later on, but Regulon is an aggressive left back. He doesn't really sit back in his own half. So that's a quick analysis of what style of play that Regulon would bring. But what strengths would he bring to United? One of the strengths that United Arena points out is his productivity, despite not receiving the ball that often for Sevilla. And he's suggesting that when he comes to United, that will increase. And I absolutely agree, because if you look at United's style of play, we're quite a left-heavy attacking team. Pogba more naturally goes out to the left, even though he's actually played more as a right central midfielder last year. Rashford out to the left. It's where the strength of the team mainly lie. That might that will probably change, definitely change if we sign Jaden Sancho. You'll see United going more aggressive down the right hand side, and we might see more from Aaron Wan Bissaka. But it's interesting to note that as one of his strengths, because I do think he'll receive the ball a lot more at United, so we could get more out of him. And I would expect him to improve as a player at United. And the next strength that United Arena points out is where Regulon likes to receive possession. Have a look at this heat map and have a look at how wide his position is for where he received the ball last season. Real width from a real overlapping fullback on the left-hand side. Yes, please. Music to my ears. It just signed him straight away after just reading that. All jokes aside, clearly that would be a massive Massive asset to United's team and United's attacking shape because the fullbacks for me are crucial to United's shape and without them playing properly wide, we don't have the width. But Regulon, he plays wide naturally. So that is a huge strength of his game and something that will bring a lot to United. And something to note here as well as a strength is look how high up the pitch Regulon likes to receive the possession. Majority of it's in the opposition half. I mean, for someone who's a left back, it almost looks like he's operating as a left winger. Now, is that because he's got a more, it will have a more expansive position with Sevilla in comparison to United? I don't really think so. I think Solskjaer is creating this team to be attacking. He's not signing Van der, Van der Beek because he wants to have a defensive midfielder and slow the football down. He's signing him because he's a creative 
playmaking, goal-scoring midfielder. And he'll want that from any fullback that he signs. Somebody who's aggressive with the overlaps. Tick. Has a natural width to his game. Tick. Likes to receive the possession of the ball high up the pitch. Tick. Regulon is certainly an aggressive attacking option at left back. More so than Shaw and more so than Brandon Williams. Moving on to the next strength of Regulon's game. And I really do like this one. United Arena talking about when he receives possession and remains wide. He plays in dangerous balls. And this heat map is really interesting because it shows where he attempted his killer passes, his incisive passes from. And look how high up the pitch they are, properly operating as a modern day fullback. And it will bring a lot to the shape and the unpredictability of United's attack. Because far too often last season, we saw Shaw or Williams or wan reach that area of the pitch, look sideways and pass it backwards. If you bring someone like Regulon in, he's confident enough that he will try those passes. Not simply just passing it back, but those incisive ones, the sort of balls that Bruno Fernandes makes look easy. If we can have fullbacks that do that as well, it brings another element to our attack that wasn't there last season. And that's what new signings have to do. They have to improve a team. And you can see where Regulon would improve United. Certainly with all this information, it's obvious really. But in terms of all the strengths, this one here that United Arena has pointed out is my favourite one. The variety of crosses that Regulon has put into the box. Just have a look at this. We've got deep crosses, high crosses, whipped crosses and drilled crosses. He's capable of delivering a variety of crosses and that is hugely important. You've got drilled crosses for when Martial makes runs to the front stick. You've got deep crosses when Bruno Fernandes makes a late run into the back post. You've got whip crosses when United are on counter-attacks and he wants to get it on the end of Rashford. You've got high crosses when Uncle Igalo comes on the pitch for the last 10 minutes and United need a different style of play. He's got a variety to his level of crossing and United need to be more dangerous from crosses. That is clear. wan improved a little bit last season, but it's just not enough on that right-hand side and Shaw wasn't good enough on the left-hand side. Regulon, he's naturally good at that. So that's a massive asset he would bring to United. And something that Regulon really has is a big engine. He's not a static defender. Look at this heat map. This is where he engages in his defensive duels very high up the pitch, but he's not just stuck to the left flank. He helps, he reads, he intercepts other passes. He helps stop dangerous passes into the box. He can see the danger around him and has the engine and the recovery to help in those areas. And that is a big bonus as well. He's not just going to be stuck out on the left-hand flank and stay there as a static individual. Very much a team player. Very much has the, the engine and the stamina to sustain that. And that is a big plus too. And moving on to what I would consider a very important strength to his game that United Arena points out. Have a look at this heat map here. It points out where he engages in offensive duels, so where he comes up against the defender. And if you look at that diagonal pattern of him coming from the left flank to the edge of the box, that is a massive thing for space creation. It's a dangerous position for a defender to be put in when he's one-on-one, -on -one, not one-on-one, -on -one, sorry, when he's got a fullback running at him at pace because then Rashford can overlap on the left-hand side, Regulon can drive in, have a shot himself, play it on the edge of the box with Bruno or Pogba or van der Beek is waiting. Clearly, he would add a lot of threat to United's attack down that left-hand side. And not only would that bring the direct threat of himself, but it would improve Rashford's ability to have the threat too. So he is a very aggressive, very attack-minded fullback, and certainly better than Shaw and Williams in that respect. But as much as he has strengths, of course, he has weaknesses. So we have to understand those as well to see what we can expect if we were to sign him. And the first one United Arena points out is the fact that he gets challenged a little bit too much in his own half. And that comes because he's not releasing the ball fast enough. It's a little bit of indecision. And maybe that comes because he's not experienced. He's not, he doesn't have that tactical understanding of the game yet, but he's 23. I wouldn't say he's that inexperienced. And maybe it's because his severe teammates don't come and offer him easier balls. I don't know. But at United, we're a mobile dynamic team now. We're not static. So he should always have an out. So hopefully as a weakness, that would decrease at United. The next weakness of his game is probably a weakness I would say most modern fullbacks have. Aerially, he's not very strong. But I don't really care about that because I would rather have a fullback with a lower centre of gravity who's more dynamic going forward than someone who 
is six foot three and can win headers. And that's it. Not the sort of fullback I want. So I'm not really too fussed about that one. But a weakness which is pointed out that I think is a problem is his defensive work rate. Because although it's a strength, if you look at where he engages in duels, it's very high up the pitch. So if he does lose that duel, he leaves space in behind. And we all know that's Luke Shaw's favourite hobby at United. And it's a weakness because if he leaves space in behind, Harry Maguire's got to cover that space. And that's the weakness of his game because he doesn't have the pace. Now, Regulon, his recovery, it looks like it's better than Shaw's. So that maybe you won't see too much of an issue there by comparison. But that's what you get with attack-minded fullbacks. It's the risk you take by playing them that they're going to get caught out in possession and you're going to leave space in behind. So it's certainly something to consider, but I think something that it's the risk you take with every modern-day fullback. So taking into account all the strengths, the weaknesses, the style of Regulon, would he be a good signing? To me, Regulon looks like a player who, if we can sign him for 30 million, would improve our starting 11 straight away. He's attack-minded, he would bring the natural width, he would improve Rashford's game, give us more more of an actual shape going forward down the left rather than a predictable shape where we pass back. He would deliver crosses, whereas Shaw doesn't. Weaknesses in terms of the risk and the space that he'd leave behind, I'd rather have that than a, than a very defensive-minded fullback who doesn't leave space but then doesn't offer anything going forward. It's glass half full. What would you rather have? A, a defender who is brilliant at defending and doesn't go forward, which I suppose at the moment you could put Wan Bissaka in the category of, or a defender who is exciting going forward but does have weaknesses. Now, you want your defenders to be able to defend first and foremost. And it's not to say that Regulon is a bad defender, but it's more the attacking strengths that he would bring to this United team. And that is why he would be a good signing for 30, 35 million euros. I think it's a bit of a no-brainer if he's that price and if we can get him without that buyback clause. But let me know what you think about Regulon. Now that you understand what style of fullback he is and what he would bring to United, his strengths, what his weaknesses are, let me know what you think in the comments below. A big thank you to United Arena for the research they did for this. Make sure you go and follow them on Twitter and hopefully we'll have more of these collaborations in the future. If you did like it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you follow United Arena. Until next time though, take it easy.